Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdurrahman Uthman, a student of King Faisal University. In this video, we will use Apex to create, describe, alter, and drop a table throw SQLs that the definition language statements. Open a new page in your browser and visit iacademy3.oracle.com. Enter the workspace and username that your teacher gave you. They should be the same. Enter also the password given to you. I click sign in button. In the dashboard, notice that there is a zero application and table. Let's create our first table named students using the definitions from our previous lesson. By following the syntax above, we came up with this actual statement of creating table students with three columns and a primary key. In Apex, click SQL workshop, then SQL commands. Create table called students with column student ID that is number. Name that is Barker2 with length 30 and measure that is also Barker2 with length 30. The primary key is student ID. Click run. Our table has been created. I click application express to go to home page. Notice that there is now one table in our account. Describing a table means displaying the structure and definitions of a table. It can be done by using the statement DESC and the name of the table. I click SQL Workshop, then SQL Commands. In the edit window, type Disk Students. Notice that the students table structure is shown. Did you notice the hyphen or dash sign under notable in student ID? It means the student ID cannot have an empty value. It was automatically defined as such when we set student ID as a primary key. We can alter a table by adding a new column or modifying an existing one. Let's try to add a column address. Click on Let's describe again our table. Click run. It has now four columns including the address. Let's modify the name column by increasing its length to 50 and making it not null. Let's describe our table again. Click run. Name column has a new length of 50 and is now not nullable. To drop or delete a table, we need to use the drop table statements. But let's not drop students yet as we still need it in our next set of lessons. In our next video, we will select, insert, update and delete rows in a table using SQL. Thank you for your interest in this channel. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for your notification on new videos.